Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Etho, and it is time once again for some more Bushy Eyebrow Guy. <laughs> we're playing Project Ozone here, guys, and uh, let's see if we can figure this out, uh, what we were doing last episode. So we hooked up the farms last time, and we were also messing with this crafter thing, and we were having a problem where we couldn't separate the Temperio from the stone. I asked you guys what to do about it. We got some good suggestions. So one of them, an easy one would be to just replace one of these recipes with the recipe to craft Imperial blocks and then export those out of there and that'll separate it from the stone. Because uh, if we keep it on an interior, then we can't get this red stuff out of here. It just goes into this inventory and gets stuck there. If we go to exterior, then it'll craft it once and then it goes down here and then it gets messed up. <laughs> um, so we got to keep the stone in here and get the red stuff down here, basically. So to do that, let's put that back. There was another suggestion that's probably going to be the easiest here. Um, let's get, let's shut this off for right now. Okay, take everything out of here. So it sounds like if we put this here, hit remember the current items in the internal and external buffers, then you see it creates a little like transparent icon of that. Apparently when it does this crafting here, it's going to give it priority to put the stone back here instead of in the external buffer. So that will fix our problem, I'm pretty sure. So we can switch that to exterior. And now let's turn it back on and just make sure. And let's let's put some more stuff in here to help it out. Well, this stuff doesn't go there. Um... Nope, <laughs> it still went down there. What? Okay, so maybe this will work. New plan here. We're going to have a spot for the stone there and only allow the red stuff down here. So hopefully it doesn't put the stone there now. And switches. Fill it up. Let's see what happens now. Is it still putting that in there? It's not supposed to. Uh, oh, it's just not crafting it now. <laughs> See, this is piling up. Um, okay, so that didn't work quite like I expected. I guess what we'll do instead then is hopefully create a recipe for making temperial blocks. So let's change this to that. I think it's it's 3x3, three three, right? Yeah. And then we'll turn that to... I guess we'll do interior on that one. And there's probably a way to uncraft them as well. So if we throw this in, it's going to start crafting those. And then... I think if we do it like this, yeah, then we can uncraft it and then we'll export that. So that'll go into here. If there's blocks in here. Okay. That'll work, I'm pretty sure. So this is kind of interesting. I'm on a new challenge here. I'm trying to speed up how fast Minicio goes into here. It's like doing one stack a second, maybe a little bit quicker, right? We want it to just go like, zoo, 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 zoo. <laughs> Uh, so I was like, okay, let's put down an interface, fill it up with Minicio, and then attach a bunch of gables to it. So we got it coming out the bottom, the sides, the top, all running into here. And these are all speed upgraded, maxed out. But it, it seems like attaching multiple cables to this, uh, one cable is the same as having like four cables. Doesn't speed it up at all. So we need a new method a new way of speeding this up. And I was looking at like some other options here. I've never used the mechanism piping really, but it says it'll do 1,024 items a second, I believe. Okay, so this is the basic pipe recipe. Then we want advanced. All right, make a few of those. So that's it. I'll put those in. Uh-huh. Where'd they go? They all look the same. <laughs> uh, okay, get a couple more of those. And then we want the elites. Take the blue things. And then the ultimates. Ultimate requires the purple ones. Okay, so I think they don't need servos or anything like that. I think we just put it down next to this. They'll connect. How do you power these? I'm not sure, actually. Aha! Configurator! What else do you want? You want some sticks. Oh, those don't look fun to make. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think this is what we need to actually 
configure the piping. I had to look it up. I couldn't figure it out on my own. Uh, was that in the this thing here? Yeah, okay. So you get two sticks, two fancy sticks. And I don't remember what they're called, so let's just try to auto con config this. Auto complete this. Okay, configurator. We're going to have to power that. Let's charge her up. This is like the mechanism wrench, I think. Because a normal wrench didn't seem to work on these pipes. So now if we shift right click, push. Oh, interesting. Pull. That's what we want. Is that... It's pulling. It looks like it's only doing one stack at a time. <laughs> so maybe it empties the first stack here. It's like, hey, it's all gone. And then it stops, maybe. So we need like a... Hmm. What do we do about that? I'm not sure. Yeah, so I actually could not figure it out. Like, I have three ways of figuring things out when I play modded. Either I mess with it myself and and find out. Second method is to check online, which I've, I've tried both of those and uh, can find an answer. So third option is to ask you guys. <laughs> How do you get stuff out of an ME system quickly? I have no idea. Like faster, I can do like one or two stacks of items out uh, per second maybe. But beyond that, I'm not sure what to do. Like I'm pretty sure the interface is one of the quickest things, right? But it only seems to let one stack out at a time per update. So, I don't know. My uh, new plan is to skip using the ME system entirely. So the farms are going to put it directly into this chest here, this ender chest. It's full of Minisio, and it shouldn't get stuck on like each stack that way. So we're going to totally bypass the ME, get rid of that interface, put this here instead. And now it should be pumping like crazy, hopefully. No. Maybe the piping's just not as quick as I think it is. Because it said, it said like a thousand per second, right? All right, guys. So I've been uh, watching some tutorials here. I'm trying to figure out how to use logistic pipes. This is a new mod for me. And at first I had this down. I think that's the wrong thing. So we're going to try a power junction to power the pipes. And we're just going to run some basic pipes first to see if they work. Um, let's put our ender chest over here. And I'm going to use a Mark III chassis. Uh-huh. And then I think we got to put these extractor cards in. Mark III modules, so they'll pull items from the chest, hopefully. And we right-click. Yeah, that's there. Good. And now we want to tell it to take this Municio and put it into here, which it's not doing right now, it looks like. Okay. I think we put that here. Oh, it does work. I finally got it. <laughs> yes. I have spent like 30 minutes on this. No, not quite that much, but it's been a while. Okay. So if we put more in here. Boop, boop. I think it's even faster now. It's faster than we're getting the Minisio. That's really good. So I read it is uh, a stack of ticks, so that's like a thousand a second, actually. Uh, there's also Mark Fives, and you can put eight modules in these. So let's replace this and try that out, because that'll be even quicker. Mark Fives, if it works with these. And then we're going to put eight modules in. Oh yeah, it looks like it does work. Good. Good, good. Okay, how many are in there? It's, it's full. You can click here. Don't think we need to set anything there. Cool. <laughs> All right, so then I just got to get the stuff out of here, but that should be easy. So it kind of looks like nothing's happening here. You don't see anything in the ender chest, but it's pulling it out faster than it shows up even. So if we just move this for a second, it's going to be full because it fills up really quick. Well, not crazy quick, but pretty quick, right? Uh, I did want to try, now that, uh, now that we got some piping that works, I'm going to try extract... Oh, what's happening now? Wait, what? How's it getting Minisio? <gasps> oh! Oh, no! <laughs> uh, oh! Break it, break it. <laughs> Where's it coming from? 
didn't even tell it to, to grab Minisio. Oh, it's still going! No! What's happening? I don't understand. Is it still doing it, or did it stop? Okay, let's... I think I extracted all 300,000 Minisio I had in the ME system. Maybe. Oh, yeah, the game's messed up. Oh, no. Okay, break. Break. I think I might have crashed. Oh, okay, now we looked in the pouch. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. You should really know what you're doing before you do things. Otherwise, you can have trouble. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think I can clean this up. It's lagging too hard now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh-huh. I'll be back with you guys. Okay. Taxes? What just happened? <laughs> I think everything finally despawned. Maybe. Looks like we saved some of it though. 40. Is it still lagging? I think we're okay now, actually. Yeah, so everything just despawned. That's what it was. Aha. Uh -huh. So in total, we had 300,000. There's 173. I think I might have picked it all up, actually. Because there's over 120 there. 150. Yeah, I think I, I think I rescued it. All right. I'll try to summarize what just happened there. So... It, the good news is I found out how to get stuff out of the ME system. <laughs> uh, so qu so quickly, in fact, that it overloaded the crafter, so it filled up, and then the items started bouncing around in the pipes, and then the pipes filled up, and it started shooting them out, and then it got to the point where the game almost crashed. So what we're going to do this time, instead of starting with eight extractor modules in here, we're going to just add enough until the crafter can keep up, but not exceed that. So... Let's put one in <laughs> and just take it from there. Okay, it looks like it's doing okay. That's good, that's good. Let's put another one in. I think with two, it's already too quick. Maybe, oh, our power's going down. Oh, are we out of power? Okay, wait a sec. I'm gonna take one of these out while we leave, just in case I mess it up. Um, I think we're out of power. Why? Did this mess up again? This always messes up. Oh, there's still seeds in there. Okay. What's our capacity at? It's maxed out. So why can't it keep up? I'm not sure. This has power, yeah. This doesn't, though. So I guess it's just crafting so much that this cable can't keep up, maybe? Okay, and I just found out, like, if this runs out of power, it's going to keep filling up with items, and then they're going to start shooting out, and we'll probably crash the world. <laughs> so we need a way of making sure if there's no room for the Minisio, we don't supply it anymore. So I think that's what this quick sort module will do. I'm hoping. Let's try it out. I'm going to throw that in the extraction. I thought maybe this would do it, but I'm not sure what it does exactly. The new mod for me, I'm still learning. Okay, and then we're going to throw one extractor in again. And actually, let's overload it again to see if it'll stop. So that's what it's supposed to do. Doesn't look like it stopped. Okay. Undo. Take out. Take out. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Because there's still a bunch of items in that pipe, right? And now they're going to shoot out once uh, enough time passes. Yeah. Okay, quick sort is not what we want. Okay, guys, so I got it figured out. We need an item sync module. That checks if there's space for more Minisio here. And we can tell it what we want to go in the in the inventory over here. So I got Minisio in there. Pretty cool. And then over here, I got it loaded up with our eight extractors, which previously caused a lot of trouble. But now that it's checking if there's space, uh, let's turn this on again. And you can see I added spots for each of the items and two spots for the stones so this will never get jammed uh, like it was before I think should always be good yeah it seems to have no trouble starting and stopping now 
So that's good. And then the items are rooting back into the, the interface here and going into the, the ME system. So basically, we can convert as much Minicio as we want, as quickly as possible, pretty much, right into Temperio. All right, everybody. Very cool, very cool. So we can finally move on to some other stuff here. And I was looking, maybe let's try and make this wireless crafting terminal. And then I saw that it is very expensive. <laughs> so we need a lot of these glowstone ingots, and I started producing them. So I hooked up a machine here that's injecting glowstone and osmium. And that's what you need to do them over here. Here's the recipe. Yeah. So it's very loud though. So I tried making a muffler upgrade. I've never used this before. I thought we'd put it in and see what it does. Okay, it's a little bit quieter, right? Oh, way quieter. Uh, maybe not qu way quieter. I'm going to put some energy upgrades in there too. Maybe you can put more than one. Because I would like it to be silent, honestly. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Let's see if we can put more in. Oh yeah, you can. Does it have an effect? Yeah, so that's way quieter now. Very cool, very cool. Um, so we're going to leave that thing running. And right now, I think we're up to 120. So that's not very much. It's going to take a lot of time. So something else we should do today, guys, is upgrade our ME system, and we're going to need a lot of mithril to do that. So we uh, came to the nether here. We're doing some mining. I'm having an issue, though, where it's not supplying enough energy with this cell. Like, it's just we got one or two speed upgrades in there, and I can't put any more because this can't give enough power. So maybe if we change this. Can we change this? Seems to max out at 500,000 if you don't have more than one. Maybe we need to get a better energy cell in the future here. Like from a different mod that's quicker. Yeah, so this is the max speed I can mine, which isn't really good. Boop, boop, boop. Ten ender pearls into the Tesseract frame. It's too much. <laughs> ah, man, there's still 1,500 in there. Whoops. All right, anyways, Tesseract, yes, we got it. Is is that a finished one? No, it needs that too. Okay, so we made one Tesseract previously, and now we have two. And they have no limit to how much power they can send. So I think we want this like right on our supply here, because this will output more than 500,000, because we have a bunch of them together. Should go even higher than that, maybe. Oh, five millions max. Okay, that's that's probably good enough though. So if we connect that to that, can we receive energy? Or we want to send energy, right? Send it. Let's just do send and receive. There's no confusion. Okay, power. Or let's call it mining. Maybe we'll do items and energy on this. Add frequency, set frequency. Oh, we need a number. One, two, three. Okay. And now if we go to the nether, we should be able to hook this up to our digital miner. Okay. So we get the digital miner down. Um, start it up. It's going to run out of power. So I think we can supply power on the outside here, right here. We're going to do the mining one. And we want to receive energy, right? And now if we put our speed upgrades in here, hopefully it won't run out of energy. Seems to be okay. It's getting faster, yep. Yeah, so I think that sped up our mining maybe uh, about three or four times quicker. So that's really good. Uh, if we want it faster, we're going to need more digital miners, I think. But I'm going to carry this Tesseract with us always. Then we don't have to worry about running out, of, running out of power on like other planets and stuff. We'll always have some with us. Um, now we throw these in here. This is going to convert it into four times. Yeah, four times that. Then we take these. 
And let's pick this up before I lose it. <laughs> uh, and then we can four times it again in a pulverizer. So it's like eight for each ore. It's like eight for each ore. But then they have to be converted. Mana. Yeah, we take the dust. I don't know if I made a recipe for that. No, I never did. Okay, so let's make a recipe for that real quick here. One of these goes into one of those. Cool. Add that to our redstone furnace, which is also running out of space here. <laughs> and uh, I guess I should add one for the ore too, just so I don't have to deal with that later. So one of these turns into four of these. Okay, and then we'll put that to the pulverizer. Good stuff. Okay, so now if we have these in the system, we can just make mana infused ore, right? Can we do a thousand? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, and the reason we need so much of that is because molecular assemblers and interfaces all require, I think, four each, and we need a lot of these. Yeah, so we have enough mithril now. We need these uh, compressed crafting tables, though. Uh, and these are totally filled up. So just for now, I'm going to remove a couple re recipes temporarily until we set up uh, more interfaces. We should be able to craft those now, all right? Can we do 100? 12,000 wood. Okay, that's not terrible. Cool. So we got over 100 molecular assemblers. We're going to need interfaces as well. I'm going to just do 100 of those. Requires 400 mithril. That's not too bad, right? We'll let that run. And then we can also make a ton of acceleration cards now, which require four each, too. And then we'll be able to speed up all the molecular assemblers because um, some of these are not. Like that one is. This one's not. Most of them aren't right now. All right, we got 50 left to craft there. Uh, basically, what I got to do now is just go through all of these and add five acceleration cards to each of them. Alright, so now we are just expanding our molecular assemblers and interfaces. We're doubling up. So just like we had before, we have two new sections now. So this is what we had before. We added this and this over here. Now let's go check out if we have more space or not. We should. Okay. Oh yeah, one free row there. Two free rows there, two there, two there. Yeah, okay, cool. So we have a lot more space for recipes again. We can put these back inside. And with all these new ones we added, we also want to speed them up. So I'm going to go through them and add acceleration cards. Awesome. Okay, guys, so our ME system's been upgraded. That's all good. Uh, this isn't causing any trouble. It seems to be running perfectly. So happy about that. Uh, maybe to finish up our episode today, we'll do a few more quests in the book here because we've been uh, neglecting them a little bit lately. One thing I want to get is a wireless charger, which I know looks pretty bad. <laughs> but I think we got those boosters already, right? Oh, those are the infinity ones. We made these. We're going to need modems. Modem. Oh, how do you spell modem? Like that, exactly like that. Okay. Can we do that? No. Can we do these? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's it? Oops. Okay, let's pulverize some blaze rods, I guess. Throw them in there. And now we can make this. All right. And now we can do this. Awesome. Okay, we needed two of those. Charger. Is that what it's called? Wireless charger, yeah. Uh, we're going to need electrical steel, those ender resonators. Ender. We got those. Uh, electrical steel we have. And capacitors, right? Capacitor. Cool. So we run down to the uh, QED stuff down here. And throw it in. Should be good. Oh, you guys remember? Do you remember? Yes, we got it. <laughs> All right, cool. So that one's done.
And I do want to try it out. This is probably something we'll use, actually. So let's put it right here for now. Uh, it should charge my jetpack automatically, right? So if we fly around... Yeah, it's going up right now. No, it's going down. Okay, so there's probably a range to it. If we go down... Still going down. Hmm. Nope. Nope, maybe I don't know what it does. So I thought if we were by this, it would automatically charge a jetpack. Which charges items in nearby players' inventories. Do we have to take it off? Oh, you do. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, that's not as useful as I thought. Still kind of good, I guess, but not... Yeah. Let's check out the bag. Ooh, okay, don't put these down. We've learned our lesson already. Throw them in and never use them. Okay, cool. Um, the jet jetpack plate might be a bit tough to do. I think... Uh, I don't think we ever handed in the cyanite quest, did we? So there's 59 in there. And I think I threw some in here earlier. Cyanite. Yeah. I think we needed a stack of it total. Oh, it shows it. Okay. Yeah, okay. That one's done. Did that. And we need to make plutonium. Didn't we set something up for doing that already? Like over here somewhere? Yeah, over here. Cyanite reprocessor. Okay, so we throw this in and I think it does it, right? It's going to take a bit of time. We'll leave that running. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, we got a big problem here. <laughs> We're going to have to end the episode here, guys, and I got to try to fix this. Uh, you know I, you know how I say uh, like stuff always goes wrong in modded? Well, our quest book just reset pretty much. I don't know why. I was looking at one of the quests, and when I left it, like everything got grayed out. Like everything on this page was done except this one. And now it thinks we finished it. That's really weird. Thinks we finished that. What is going on? So I basically I gotta load a backup and maybe uh like hopefully not a total backup. Maybe we can just back up the HQM quests and probably have to redo the ones we did today. Are they all messed up? What's going on here? Like this is one we did, yeah. We didn't do this. Thinks it's done now. Okay, yeah, back up time. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to fix it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.